Tayo ay busog na busog na sa video pa lang. Thank you Lord. Woo! Ilang araw na lang magpapalit na ng taon. And uh, ilang ilang tulog na lang. Anniversary na. Amen. Sa <laughs> kayo po tayo lahat, please. Everyone. Amen. Paki-greet mo ng happy anniversary yung katabi mo and Merry Christmas. Find as many as you can greet them. Happy anniversary. Merry Christmas. Yan, church mo to, kailangan mo siyang batiin. At kailangan ka ring magpabati. Pag binabati ka ng happy anniversary, ikaw yun. Dahil bahagi ka ng church na to. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Sinong napuspos at napagpala sa pagpupuri kanina? Eh, hindi ko mapigilang mapasigaw eh. Kaya ho, wag ko kayong palate. Bahagi ho ng worship, ng service ang, ang pagpupuri. In, in fact, isa siyang napakahalaga at napakaimportanting bahagi. You should at least come 5 to 10 minutes before the service starts so that you can prepare your heart. And uh, sabi ko nga kanina umaga, it's so nice to see yung mga magagandang nilalang. Katulad ni Maybelline, hindi nagagamit sa kamunduan, kundi sa pagpupuri sa Diyos. Amen? Hallelujah. At mga sexing kamukha ni Sister Gay. Amen? Amen. Yamilicious. Hallelujah. Para daw litsyon. Joke. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tita Nan. <laughs> Amen. And welcome home, Sister Jen. <laughs> Sa mga nakikinig, amen. Na ka, ka, last two days ago, kauntahan ko si Sister Wilma na nasa Vancouver listening right now. And our brothers and sisters scattered all over the world. Meron tayong mga nakikinig sa Australia. Meron tayong nakikinig sa Vancouver, sa Toronto, sa Columbia, Columbia, Canada. Meron po tayong nakikinig sa sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, sa Socor, sa they're, they're watching. Meron po tayong mga kapatid na nakikinig sa Metro Manila, meron po tayong kapatid na nakikinig sa Mindanao. Hello po diyan. <laughs> mga kapatid po natin yan, bahagi po ng CCMI family na nagtatrabaho sa kung saan-saan bahagi ng mundo. Today, are you ready for the word? Come on, you can do better than that. Are you ready to receive the word? Yes. Wow! That is living and vibrant. Welcome po sa Tagalog service. Kanina kapampangan. Medyo taglis tayo, pero it's more on Tagalog na tonong kapampangan. <laughs> Natatawa sila eh. When I, when I speak sa ibang lugar, kapampangan po kayo, no? Yeah, halata ba yung accent ko, kako? Yeah. That makes us unique. Do not be ashamed you have your own accent. In fact, uh, pag nag english ako sa Toronto, sabi nung isang native doon ng mga puti, do not be ashamed of your thick accent. That that makes you special. Instead of trying to speak like us, you're trying hard. People will have more respect whenever you you talk the way you talk naturally with your own accent. Amen to that. Yeah. Mga puti yung nagsabi sa akin yan. Ha? <laughs> hindi po. Kesa trying hard ka na, puro twang ka. Eh. Hindi na halata namang trying hard ka. Eh di, English ka ng may accent na tunog ka pampangan pero tonong Tagalog at English. <laughs> Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin si Jesus, ang bait ni Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, this message today is very special to me because I was, for more than 20 years, I love my own church, I, I still do, but for 20 years, my goodness, they will talk with different subjects, like about marriage, about relationship, about giving, about fasting, about eschatology, demonology, or soteriology, and whatever, OG, except the gospel. In fact, pinipris lang nila yung gospel pag Holy Week, mali pa yung presentation. You know, I discovered in the Bible, everything we do should revolve around the truth of the gospel. In fact, I will, I will give you a lot of verses that even in our giving, it should be related, highly related to the gospel. Because the gospel is not a paradigm, it's not a system, it's not even a uh, formula. The gospel 
is Jesus Christ himself. And the grace of God appeared to all men, Paul says to Pastor Titus. Titus 2, 11. He's referring to Jesus Christ. So today, let us cut the chase. Let's hit the button, so to speak, right away. Let's go to Mark chapter 14, verse 3 to 9. I'm so thrilled. Alam nyo bang nagbi-build up yung excitement sa, ano, sa, sa anniversary? Uh, ewan ko, kakaiba itong anniversary ito. Daming excited. And thank you sa lahat ng mga workers na dumating. First time in history of CCMI, 90% ng mga workers nagpakita. Ang dami nila, no? So if you're not still part of the working force of CCMI, do approach our ministry heads and it's our joy to include you on our journey. And then, uh, this is, lahat ng mga hiningan po namin ng tulong. I believe that is a privilege that God is offering to you. Uh, hindi lang po yung mga gift giving, that's just a small portion. Because we know there will be an overflowing, uh, tayo lang alone, punong-puno na to. In, uh, what more kung mag invite pa tayo ng mga kaibigan at kamag-anak. Because our theme is proclaiming the one true gospel. So we need another one aircon there, sa side doon. Uh, tinanong ko si Pastor Ryan, how much is that? Uh, it's 120,000, just like this one. How much is the installation? Kasi 10 feet lang yung libre. 30,000 po electricity and all the 150. Sabi ko, yes. By God's grace, I am declaring before December 17, we can install another air there so that kahit jump pack tayo dito, hindi tayo nagpapaypay. We're all comfortable listening to the Word of God. I used to say, kakain ka lang sa McDo, sa Burger King, sa Jollibee. Pagkain laman lang yan and you can feel the air condition. Now, what's more if you're eating in a conducive way the Word of God? Can I hear a good day, man? Yeah. Kaya po, if you are compelled to donate one air condition, di po ako magtatampo sa inyo. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Pagtulong-tulungan natin yan, uh, makakaya natin yan. So in, in Mark chapter 14, verse 3 to 9, this is a story related to the gospel. Look at this. I love this story. Uh, by the way, before I will continue this, uh, bumili po kami ng, may, nasan ba yung alabaster jar natin, Pastor Ryan? Pastor John, do you have that? Can you bring it forth here? Yung, if you have that. Alam nyo bang, uh, this year, this, this December 17, we will start our building and lot project. At ang pangalan ay Alabaster Jar Project, based on this story. So, I'm preaching this in preparation. So, may, hahaw, may dalawang hahawak na Alabaster Jar na pinasadya po namin sa Minalin. Babasagin dito, ujat, with, 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 with a little confetti and uh, some surprises. The, yun ang ujat na sisimulan na natin ang ating building and lot project. Hindi naman po para sa akin yan eh. In my age, yung, 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 yung makikinabang dito is more on the next generation. Can I hear a good amen? So, sisimulan po natin yan. At uh, alam ko, uh, pag pinagtulong-tulungan natin yan, Magaan yan. That's why uh, ayaw ng kaaway na magkaisa, di ba? But unity, oh, eh, heto, heto yun. So, we will be proclaiming as a gesture. Ganito ay tura ng alabaster jar. A small version. So, we will crack this. We will, we will break this as a symbol of our start uh, on December 17, our uh, alabaster jar project. And I believe uh, in, in sa maikling panahon, makakabili po tayo ng malaking lupa para hindi tayo, you know, the, yung mga taga-angeles at San Fernando, kinausap ako, sabi nila, Pastor, pag bumibili po kayo ng lupa, laki nyo kasi kami namang problema, dinidemanda kami, nabibigyan kami ng supina kasi pinapark namin kung saan-saan yung mga sasakyan ng mga miyembro, uh, napapadala sila ng ticket kasi lahat naman ngayon, pinibless ng Lord ng mga sasakyan, di ba? So, Sinong naniniwala dito na bibigyan tayo at least minimum of one hectare na mabibili natin para yung mga sasakyan nyo hindi problema. Amen? So, yun ang gagawin natin. By God's grace, this is the plan that the Lord laid in our hearts and we will work this out through the grace of God in a, uh, in, 
in a, in, in a corporate manner. While he was in Bethany, verse 3, reclining at the table in the home of a man known as Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar. Lahat po tayo sabi natin, alabaster jar. Of very, not just expensive, very. Wow. I'm glad the Bible uh, elaborately described that this is not an ordinary perfume. It's a very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Let me borrow expanded imagination. Pagbasag niya, crack. Look at the reaction, even the disciples. Some of those, verse 4, some of those present were saying, they're not just saying it, they're saying indignantly. Alam nyo kung ibig sabihin to? Sinasabi nila na nang gagalit, na galit, na galit. Because this is a very pricey one. And they're, 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 they're Alam mo yung ang utak na, what a waste! Can I say this? Alam mo ba na some of these people are professing Christians? There are two kinds of Christians. The carnally minded Christians and the spiritually minded Christians. The carnally minded Christians, lagi silang na-open, nababaduyan, nakokorni, naiinis. Sa mga spiritual. Because a carnally minded Christian, it is offensive in their logical mind to do such thing. Yung puro kay praise the Lord, puro kay hallelujah, puro kay sa Panginoon. They cannot, di ba sabi ng Lord, whether you eat or drink, do it for the glory of God. Whatever you do, do it for the Lord. And whether you live, you live for the Lord. Whether we die, Lord, come on. It, these things, I keep on repeating and I cannot overemphasize them, but Ang ginagawa ng Bible sa buhay natin, kung hindi natin ito totoong paniniwalaan. But some people who have, they are in the spirit, but they have, they are carnally minded. Nababado yan sila. Sayang ang buhay mo. Sana ginamit mo. Sayang nag-aral ka. but naglingkod ka sa Diyos? <laughs> Sayang yung talento mo. Bakit hindi ka mag magbanda? Bakit dito ka tumutugtog? Ang galing mo. Yung mga ganong kaisipan. Ha? Sayang yung ganda mo. Bakit hindi, gami, hindi mo gamit? No? Walang sayang pagdating sa Diyos. A carnally minded person will be offensive, will be, will be offended rather to the spiritually minded believers. That's why they're saying this. They indignantly say to one another, what a waste. This waste of perfume. Verse 5. It could have been sold more than a year's wage. Ibig sabihin nito, this is really. Magkano yung average income ng isang tao ngayon? 60, 80,000? Yung ano lang, hand to mouth existence lang, yung normal, 500 a day. Would you believe this is this is tantamount to one year's wages and the money given to the poor? And they rebuke. They did not just rebuke her, they rebuke her harshly. Ah, I, I can only imagine natin pangabi ay palmuran po panagkasini. You know, even your your loved ones will rebuke you and they will they will say harshly against you whenever you but you see no one no one forced this woman to do this. It was it was not born out of coercion. It was born he he she was moved and compelled with with the amazing grace of God believing that all her sins are forgiven and Jesus said, he who knew that his sins are forgiven much, much love will flow in her. And he who knew he was forgiven little, no little sin actually was forgiven, will love little. But here the woman has a revelation that his sin is so bigger. So, so this, this, this alabaster jar is nothing to her. Kaya ako naniniwala kapag ang isang kristyano nagkaroon ng revelation sa grace, mawawala yung pagkakuripot niya. Alam niyo bang under dispensation of grace, there is only one law that the Lord left for the sowing and reaping? Kasi in this world, what you sow is what you reap. That's why they believe on karma. But Jesus took all the karma for us so that whatever we sow, it, it will not come back on us. 
But through giving, the Bible says, who, he who gives generously will reap generously. He who sow sparingly will reap sparingly. So look at this. Verse 6. Alam niyo kung sinabi ni Lord? Whenever you're doing this born of love, the Lord, you, will, you don't need to defend yourself. The Lord himself will reap. Them. Can I hear a good amen? And Jesus said, Leave her alone! Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. She has done a beautiful thing to me. How many loves to hear that the Lord will say, she has done, he has done a beautiful thing to me. There is a natural culture of excellence coming out in her action because she was mesmerized by the grace of God in the life of Jesus. Ako naniniwala, walang kuripot na kristyano kapag totoong nagkaroon ng revelation sa grace. Could you imagine person pag nagkasakit, they can they they they're willing to spend 300,000. Alam niyo sa hospital ngayon? Alam niyo sa hospital? Yung 3 days ka lang ma-hospital, yung 100,000 mo kinuha na sa iyo. Lalo na sa tabi-tabing mga hospital diyan. It's like scum. Yung pala kayang uminom ka, nanalangin ka lang, nag-communion at tum- <laughs> are, are you listening? People are willing to spend as much as 300,000 with their loved ones para lang gumaling. And yet, when it comes to the Lord, they don't, the, the, very, the, the Lord that gives them life, why, kung bakit sila humihinga, it's so hard for them. They don't have any revelation. There are two believers here in this story. Saan kayo sa dalawang to? She has done a beautiful thing. I'm not only talking about money here. I'm talking about the way you dress here. Sa party, bongga kadai. Pero dito, yung damit mo, kahit ano lang. Ha? Yung, yung, kung, do, whether you like it or not, yung private life mo, hindi mo may tatago yan, it will manifest the way you do your service to the Lord. Look at verse 7. Jesus said, I, 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 the poor will always have, have with you and you can help them anytime you want. Say, but, but you will not always have me. You will not always have me. Here, he's talking about pag-angat niya after his, resur- his death and resurrection. And we can also apply this. You will not have him here all the time. In heaven, you have no you have no chance to prove and to show because everything is complete here. Here is the time to reciprocate to his love. Hindi pagdating sa langit. Can I hear a good amen? But you will not always have me. Verse 8. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. Look at what she, how Jesus articulated this, this, this idea of this woman. And she, he said something very remarkable. Verse 9. I tell you the truth. This is the most, one of the most favorite expressions of Jesus. I tell you the truth. Wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, she has done what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Ano sa akin yan? This God value every small action we offer to the Lord coherent to the gospel. Look at how Peter, in Luke, in Mark chapter 10, verse 28, when, he, when, when Peter was astonished, seeing that it is impossible for them to be saved, 
through their effort, through all giving everything. So Peter said to him, look, Lord, we have left everything to follow. Because Peter left his, his work, his job. He left his family. Look at how Jesus responded in verse 29. How many believe that it is not the church that will determine the doctrine? How many believe that? Maling-mali yun. Ano bang doktrina ng church nyo? Mali, mali yung tanong eh. It will not be the church that will determine the doctrine. It is the Word of God that will determine the doctrine. Pag, pag hindi ganun yung kaisipan mo, you will have sacred cows doctrine. Kaya nga tayo, hindi tayo takot basahin yung Genesis to Revelation kasi wala tayong sacred cows. Alam yung sacred cows? Yung mga doktrina ng ginawa ng tao. Hindi, nila, hindi nga nila napipreach yung mga pinipreach natin kasi meron silang pinangahahawakang doktrina na mali. Katulad nung yung kailangan humihingi ka ng tao, tawad araw-araw. Kung hindi, pag hindi mo na hingi yun, pupunta ka ng impyerno. Kailangan ganito-ganito. Ang dami! I can name a few! But here, Jesus, He said, He replied, No one has left home or brothers or sisters, or mother, or father, or children, or fields for me. Again, he related even whatever you're doing for me and the gospel. Because Jesus and the gospel are one. Mamaya makikita nyo yan. It is the gospel of Christ. Kaya nga pag naglilingkod ka, dapat kasama to. Can I hear a good Amen. Hindi lang yung sa so I love you Lord. Ha? Kung kung makapag-spend ka ng marami, wagas pero pagdating no, it it will it will it will naturally flow in you. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about your best. There will be as you excel in the in 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 the grace of love and faith Paul says in 2 Corinthians 8:7. Excel also in the grace of giving. That's not, those are not my words. Those are the very words of the great Apostle Paul. Those are the words of the Lord Jesus himself through Apostle Paul written in the Bible. Verse 30. Up to verse 31 tayo. Sabi niya, will fail. Kaya tinanong ko kayo kanina, naniniwala ba kayo ng salita ng Diyos, ang otoridad natin? Naniniwala ba kayo na ang Diyos hindi nagbe-break ng pangako niya, will fail to receive. Para makuha natin yung buwelo, balikan natin yung 29. Yung, yung fluidity ng thought, balikan natin. I tell you the truth, Jesus replied, no one has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me. And the gospel, verse 29, quickly, will fail to receive, wow, hundred times, as much in this present age, homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, fields, and with them persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. Galing, ano? See that? It is related to the gospel. Look at Philippians chapter 1, verse 27. In the King James Version, Paul says, only let your conversation, he's talking about our daily conversation, be as it becometh what? Kanino gospel? Gospel of Christ. Ibig sabihin, your, your ordinary conversation should be related to the gospel. This Christmas season, whatever you do, alam nyo bang, the best gift you can give to your loved ones is not a gift that is placed under a Christmas tree. But the best gift, if you truly, truly love them and you're concerned for them, is not a gift under a tree, but a gift that was hung on a tree. That's why your conversation should be become the gospel of Christ. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear you of your affairs, that you 
Stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together. Striving together. Alam nyo kung sinong inaatake ng Diablo, yung mahilig mag-isa. Because we are by one body. Together for the faith of the what? Say the word. For the faith of the what? Say it out loud. For the faith of the what? Gospel. If you are offensive the way I, I put emphasis on it, you are carnally minded. Because the truth is, Paul says, everyone else is busy on their, on their lives. But these leaders, they're putting their lives at stake for the sake of gospel. Kaya nga sinasabi ko sa inyo, huwag ko kayong ma-open. Pag tinutuwid ko kayo. We can receive correction without condemnation. Alam mo, yung totoong tama yung puso pag nakokorek sa, sa sermon, dapat bless na bless. Kasi hindi naman pakikialaman ng Lord yung hindi niya anak at walang conviction yung wala yung spirit. Yung mga taong ayaw magpatuwid, mga ano yan, mga baka non-believer yan, no? kaya karnali ma... Pag ikaw ay tinatamaan sa sermon, magalak ka, yan ay pagpapakita na gusto kang pagpalay ng Diyos dahil mahal na mahal ka niya. He is positioning you to a greater level of blessing. Are you listening? Eh sabi ko, yung mga tayong mga believers ngayon sa dami ng mga tao na walang walang trabaho, walang makain, walang nawala ng trabaho yung mga sa. Tapos ipo-post mo ha, pinagyayabang mo yung pera mo, yung ari-arian mo. How can you sympathize with them? Pwede namang mag-post, di ba? Ng mga andiya ka sa Boracay, thank you Lord. Wala wala problema, kaso lang hashtag #bless yung utang mo, hindi mo pa nabayaran. Di ba? Hashtag bless ka mo, pinagya, pero ang puso mo, ang motibo mo, nagyayabang ka. Ang daming mga tao na nakatingin sa atin, walang trabaho, ginugutom. Ikaw nagyayabang. Kung totoong anak ka ng Diyos, huwag mong ipagyabang ang anumang bagay na sa iyo, regalo lang ng Diyos. Ang sabi ng Biblia, huwag mong ikagalit ito, anumang anyo ng pagyayabang, maliban sa pagyayabang kay Kristo, ay, ay, ang sabi, ay, hindi lang kasalanan. Ito ay Evil. All types of boasting is evil. There is only one type of boasting that is glorifying and that is boasting about the love of Christ in your life. So stop boasting in the internet about you and your, and your filthy idea. Instead, boast on Christ. Huwag ko kayong magalit na pag sinasabi ko to, kasi ako po yung, yung spiritual leader, gusto ko po kayong gabayan, that's why we need to congregate. Hindi lahat ng basura at nakikita nyo dyan sa internet, tama, we are flooded with wrong ideas, with deceptive ideas. That's why we need to congregate, kasi ang daming mali dyan, mga preachers na babanggitin konti yung grace, tapos imimix yung law. It's called poisonous gospel, which is not gospel at all, according to Paul. Can I hear a good amen? Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. But this, in the NIB, whoever saw sparingly, ano yung sparingly? Yung kakonte, will reap sparingly. This is the only law of sowing and reaping applicable under the dispensation of grace. Bakit kanyo, tayong mga believer, hindi under new covenant? We are, we are, we are, sabi ni Paul sa Ephesians chapter 2, we are strange from the commonwealth of Israel. We are stranger in the common, we are not under any covenant. The covenant that God gave is between God and Jesus because Jesus God cannot, kasi pag nagkaroon ka ng sumpa, dapat magsusumpa ka sa mas mata sa iyo. Kung yari sa korte, mas mata sa iyo ang korte, doon ka manunumpa, di ba? Kung yari sa institusyon, manunumpa ka, sa, pumasa ka sa licensure exam, mag, mag, sa board, mag, manunumpa ka. Pero kanino manunumpa ang Panginoon? Eh siya yung pinakamataas. That's why the book of Hebrews says, hindi siya nanumpa kung kanino, nanumpa siya sa sarili niya. So this is not a covenant between you and God. It's a covenant between God and Jesus. 
And you're not under any covenant. You're under grace because you're a stranger. But we were grafted in that covenant. Are you listening? Check your Bible. Hindi yung tinuro lang ng pastor. Your supreme authority is the Bible. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. I might add, before explaining this, that's why under grace, kahit pumalpaka, because it's not, it's not dependent, it, it's not hinged or rooted. Hinge, yung parang nakasabit on your performance, but on the performance of Jesus. Even in your failure, as you humble yourself, you can turn those failures into blessings. Tapos sabi ko sa inyo last Sunday, use those things as leverage. Kung may sakit ka, use those things as a leverage to remind yourself by stripes you are healed. Wala kang pera, use those things even in your, kung wala kang pera, you will discover that your satisfaction is not the size of your wallet. It's, you can discover that your satisfaction and completeness is not on how many figures you have on your bank account. Your satisfaction is knowing that you are complete in Christ. And I can talk on and on and on. Even the law, even your guilt. Pag nagkasala ka, you will be guilty. But use that as a leverage to remind you that at the cross, there lies your forgiveness. And it can be used, not against you, but it can be used as a blessing so that you can put yourself again on your default setting, centering Christ in your mind. That He is your forgiveness. He's not just the healer, He's your healing. Say amen if we're on the right page. On the same page, verse 7. This man should give you what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compassion, for God loves what? A cheerful giver. Kaya nga yung mga basket natin may nakadrawing na smiley dyan eh. No? Yung iba kasi, they, they don't understand. Kaya, kaya nga, pag, pag hiningan kayo ng tulong, it's a privilege. Binibigyan ka ng privilege ang Lord. May, may hiningan ko ako ng tulong. Pastor, sabi niya, thank you po. Ako po yung nilapitan niyo. Alam ko, ang dami niyong pwedeng lapitan. Sabi ko, I wish all people can have a heart like that. It's a privilege, Pastor, to... Pero ako, hindi na ako masyadong lumalapit kasi parang, ano lang, pag may mga special occasion na katulad ng ganito, even with the challenges. Kasi hindi ko, ayaw kong pinagmumukhang parang kawawa yung gawain. Kasi naniniwala ako, hindi, hindi ko kayo tupa, hindi ko church ito, hindi ko gawain ito, gawain ito ng Panginoon. So hindi ko problema to problema ng Panginoon. Magtitiwala lang ako sa Kanya. Amen. Verse 13. Jump to verse 13. Look at the, this is my, this is the crux of what I'm trying to get across. Because of the service by which you have proved yourselves Men will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of, look, look at this, even in their giving of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with everyone else. It is directly related, even their giving, to the gospel. Kaya nga pag nagbibigay kayo sa mga mali yung tinuturo, you are promulgating, you are proliferating, you are pushing a cursed gospel. You're wasting your money. Hindi ko sinasabing dito lang. Mayroong mga ibang church na nagpipreach, although they are, there are few here in the Philippines. But dito kayo nilagay ng Lord eh. So dito ka susuporta, hindi sa kung ano-anong church na tinuturo na mali-mali, hindi gospel-centered. Ang daming mga nagtuturo niya, they, they have all topics. Dun, dun sa pinanggaligan kong church, dami lang topic except the gospel. Any preaching na hindi nakasentro si Christ at ang cross, it's considered a false gospel. Because, look at this. John chapter 1 verse 17. I, this Let's start verse 16. The law was given through Moses. From the fullness of his grace, we have all received what? Let's all, all together read this at the count of three. One, two, three. Say, 
some, many, few. How many blessing? I did not hear you. How many blessing? Verse 17. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through whom? I'm glad John did not mention Jesus here. He's proclaiming ahead the finished work of Christ because he mentioned the word Christ. His, his, his premise is not on his present situation. His premise is based on what Jesus accomplished at the cross. Because this was written between 50 to 100 CE, common era or AD after the death of Christ. So his foundation is before it's, it's in the cross. So ibig sabihin nito, kapag nagpipreach ka na hindi si Kristo, walang blessing dun. Ang blessing nagpo-flow dun sa verse 16 na nanggaling dito kay, kay Jesus Christ. Look at verse 16. Balikan natin. Verse 16. From the fullness of His grace, fullness, we have all Present tense, past tense, people. Come on. Nangyari na o mangyayari pa lang? Nangyari na. It's a done deal. One blessing after another. That's why when the finished work of Christ is proclaimed, one blessing after the other will flow in your life, in your family, in your job, in your person. Hallelujah. Let, let's go to our uh, to, to some of my PowerPoint. Somebody needs to hear this. When you sin, it takes no faith to beat yourself up and agree with the accuser. Satan, that's why it's capital A, who calls you a sinner. It takes faith to look at the cross. It takes faith to look at the cross and say, Thank you, Jesus, for carrying all my sins. Even if you bang your head on the wall, Lord, forgive me, Lord, remove this guilt. <laughs> Even with you will shed tears for one hour. It's not through your effort, it's through the blood of Jesus. That's why it's by faith when you receive so that that guilt will be obliterated inside your heart. The only way to annihilate that, that guilt and condemnation is by faith looking at the cross and at the cross there lies declaring God remember your sins no more because he forgave all your sins and he made you righteous through Christ Jesus. But it is by faith. Not by banging your head on the wall. Not Tears, it's okay to pour out your tears. I'm not saying they're wrong, but it is by faith. Say amen if we're on the same page. Bless kayo, naririnig nyo yan. 90% sa mga palpit, iba. Iyak ng iyak. Kaya iyak ng iyak, balik na naman sa, di ba? Guilt is there to stay apart from faith. It takes faith to praise your father for his super abounding grace that is greater than your transgression. And it takes faith to agree with the Holy Spirit who says, despite what you did, you're still righteous, you're still acceptable, you're still pleasing to God, you are still loved, blessed, and favored. Next. Yung mga may trust issue dito. Yung mahilig magmanipulate. Alam, pag yung tao, in any relation, whether you have boyfriend, girlfriend, husband and wife, pamilya, pag mahilig magmanipulate at manakot, rest assured, ang root cause niyan, distrust. The more you learn to trust God, the less you feel need to manipulate. Sa totoo lang, paglabas ng asawa mo, hindi mo naman alam kung sino yung tinitext niya. Paglabas ng asawa mo, eh mo naman balor, nung nino rin papaswita na, ako ping mamiro nan din. Pabren mong, pabren mong potang may maswitch yan, mga bagya labing dili na, isong pigkatiwala may ganyang ginu. Potang mga babaya, pabren may mga laga sa buntok, abuak. It's just, just, just a joke, okay? Pabren may mga komang. 
Are you listening? Pag tiwala mo ka, Lord, alway tambala mo kay Jowers, kinong makabante, ala kang kapayapan. Lalo niya, lalo ni cellphone na! Hello! Ating kang trasisyo ka nito. Lakpan me, keng kamat na ning ginu. Ating ginu yung bala na anumang problema ng harapan mo. Alway tangi kami papatudtud. Lalo na may la- lawen ng makanya, ng la- lalo na retang ananyamang gumiling makanya. At buot ang bigla may lawen, lipat na yung bigla kaya ang kotsi. Ha? Anak ka pagal! Tuklangan mo yan! Pag tiwala may kaya ginu, pabren may sapak, katarata ka retang, kekembuta reto. Can I hear a good amen? Hmm. Hallelujah. Natawa ako sa kapatid nating nasa Vancouver. Sabi niya, Pastor, aliwaya rin yung nasi. Kanya man yung preaching mo last Sunday. <laughs> Natatawa po. Hello, si Sir Wilma na nasa Vancouver ngayon watching. Next. I love this. You have to guard yourself to this. Nothing is more de- deadly than self-righteous. Alam nyo bang, alam nyo bang, This is deadlier than adultery or stealing or 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 whatever sin. You know, all sins are forgiven. But self-righteousness is kind of hard because Israel rejected the righteousness of Christ because they seek their own righteousness instead of receiving the righteousness of Christ. Romans chapter 10 verse 1 to 4, Paul explains. Yun ang dahilan kung bakit maraming mga... Ay, salamat sa CCM ay pinalaya tayo. Sa experience ko, bless kayo. Ito yung church na inatena nyo. It's not because I am the pastor of this church. Sa pinanggalingan kong church, daming mga hipokrito, ang daming mga tumatawa na maka, nakaharap pagtalikod, ngiting aso. Sa church na pinanggalingan ko, pag nadapa ka, instead na tulungan ka, pinagtutulungan ka. Bakit? Bakit? At it, this, this reflects the many churches. Because... Righteousness to them is 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 right doing. They do, do yung mas banal yung mas nagbabasa ng Bible yung mas banal yung active sa church yung mas banal yung maraming donation sa church yung mas banal yung nagpa-fasting. No, nothing is farther than the truth because righteousness is a gift and because it is a gift, no one is better than the other. We will we will only have two response. We will be grateful and we will be humbled because we know it's just a gift. This is the reason kung bakit maraming hipokrito at naninira sa loob ng church. Because wrong believing will always lead to wrong living. That's why guard your, her- your, your hearts with this yeast. Because a whole bunch of dough, Paul says, will affect even for just one yeast. This kind of persuasion, Paul says, does not come from God. Guard your heart against self-righteousness. If you want to be an effective beacon, a messenger of the goodness of God, know this. Kaya yung iba hindi, hindi, ang hina, ang rupok ng kanilang EQ, emotional quotient, because it is based on self-righteousness. Pag kinriticize sila, they become bitter. They become resentful. They, they are so easily be offended and, and they're so defensive. Pag pinuri sila, lumalaki yung ulo, yumayabang. Gusto mong magamit kay Lord? Stand on the gift of righteousness. Receive the correction and criticism minus the condemnation. Even all, even if it is destructive or constructive criticism, you will accept the correction, but your, your, your worth will not diminish because you are anchored on one truth. Christ is your righteousness. Even if you will be used mightily, hindi ka yayabang because you know it's not you, it's Christ. Sinong gustong magamit mightily dito? Hindi yung ang yabang-yabang mo, kaya hindi ka magamit ng Lord. Mali yung pundasyon mo, self Ang tawag dyan, self-righteousness. Maraming mukhang self-righteousness. 
Ako kahit hiyarap mo ko by God's grace sa mga milyones, alam ko hindi ako yun. Si Lord, tatandaan ko yun hanggang sa huling hininga ng buhay ko. And I expect the same with you if God is blessing you. Hindi yung nagkaroon ka lang ng sports car, lumaki konti bahay, nakalimutan mo, biyaya ng Lord. You look little sa mga mas mababa. At tatamad kasi nila. Ganun ba? That might be true, but that should not come from grace people. Can I hear a good amen? Hmm. Am I talking to somebody right now? Next. I have never heard a dying believer regret that he was a Christian. Meron ka ba? Wala. Because on your deathbed, what counts is... Kaya nga ngayon, normal na tayo dun sa may mga gumagaling na may sakit. Pero sa totoo lang, kahit gumaling ka, mamamatay ka rin naman eh. When, uulitin ko, I cannot over-emphasize over this. When Jesus... When the, the, the disciples reported to Jesus, the dead were raised to life, the demon possessed were, were free, the blind can, can see and the lame can walk. They're so excited. Jesus, you won't believe these demons are obeying. The sick people are healed. You know what Jesus said? Do not rejoice because these things are happening. Instead, Jesus said rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. You know? Kahit kumalig ka sa cancer, mamamatay ka rin. Mamamatay ka pa rin. You cannot stay here forever. Alam mo kung ano yung source of joy mo. Alam mo ano mang mangyari dito. May naghihintay na magandang bahay, pag-asa. Doon! Doon! Hindi <laughs> naman talaga nakakatakot mamatay eh. Ang nakakatakot yung mamatay na wala si Kristo. Tandaan mo yan! Lahat naman tayo mamamatay. Tanggapin mo yan. Anya eh, nepisalasalig ko tang malmong mahala ng pore, tang mga malmong kubiertos. Gamitan mo nung no, ngini, puta buka sa'yo, nakamabye. Diyos ko. Hallelujah! Next. Ninong kakabsike ni sa Amen! When you walk according to the Spirit, you will find yourself talking back to your circumstances. You will speak to your bank account if it is empty. You may even shout at sickness, I'm tired and sick of this migraine and vertigo. In the name of Jesus, you find it weird? Well, let me tell you, consider Jesus who spoke trees and thorns. Jesus said we would speak to the mountain. The Spirit conscious believer talks back talks back, not hindi ng pagmumura at pagre-reklamo, but talks back to the world, resonating the Word of God because He knows that life, that, that what this world has to throw in our lives does not have the last word. Instead, He refuses to let, let His circumstances dictate His action because He is above and beyond all this action because He is seated in Christ. And His authority comes with Christ. So today, as you face changing year 2023 to 2024 this coming Christmas, kesa sa magreklamo na yung rengarela po tambilangan dala ng kalwat, din ka na ako kabilang do, yari. Masaya ako niyang di natanglotan, niyang binilang ko lang may lungkot, kukulang lang pang pamaya, duta nga mo. Come on. Oh, oh, kaya itang pala sa kabiru. Butli na kami higing mahalik. Oh, bala ko, bulag, bulag ko, ano? Wala ko nga kita, ano? Lahil laman, ano? Come on, people. Do not let your circumstances dictate your action. Your life is anchored in Christ. This season... We are peculiar people. Our celebration is not dependent on ilang bang hamon yung nandyan, ilang bang prutas. 
At yung tapas na, kita eh, krisyano, tana pero man, kung tapang mabilog, oh, mag-change ka, kaya mo, mag-pull ka, <laughs> krisyano ka kanyan, wala mo, makadepende ka rin, putang ako, kaya, buri kong gawang kay New Year, triangle yung sulod ko eh, banta balbalan kitang mali yung, putang kayo makayang klay, nung ena mabilog, bakit pati ka po, uminula ko rin mabilog ka rin, mo, may pati ko pa ng customer, o kaya rin, hindi hanggang mabilog, at yung kaya kay Kristo, makisamsamang kakareta, hello, are you with me? Kahit papakbong ka pa mo, papakbong ka, may nga, may nga, may nga, may nga, may nga, may nga, may anak mo, bala na ito yung gagawan mo. Hallelujah. We, we are believers for God's sake. Tayuan mo naman kung sino ka. Hindi puro nga walang. Next. Sinong nabubusog dito? Pag tinatamaan ka, palakpakan mo si Jesus. Ibig sabihin, mahal ka niya. Hindi yung tampo ka ng tampo. Kaya ang, 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 ang labas tuloy sa kang bansot, pandak, bonjing, bonsai, punggok kay Kristo, hindi lumalago. Sakit mo naman magsalita, pastor. <laughs> hindi po. Iyan po ay pagising lang para tayo po ay maposisyon ng Diyos sa mas mataas na level ng pagpapala. Hindi yung nakabase, oh, sabi nila, oh, yun, year of the dragon, then mabunga nga kayo 2024, i-bless nung Lord. No? Oh my goodness. Kristiyano, oh, ano, ala ka pa ka Eh, may pagloko ni sarili mo kantaan eh. The happiest of all Christians are those who never dare to doubt God but take His word simply as it stands. Yan nga lang, Lord, until, un- unless you, you become like little child, you cannot enter in the kingdom of God. I remember when we're teaching Sunday school, I remember my, my pinsan, na bishop ngayon, tinanong kung saan nagtatrabaho yung pinsan ko. Sabi niya, ah, nakikita niyo kasi buhay pa yung paso di ako nun. Alam mo yung tuktok ng paso de ko, yung may smoke na gano'n na lumalabas. Nandun ako sa, sa taas, sabi niya, nagtatraffic ako ng mga airplane. <laughs> Naniwala yung mga bata. I'm not, no, I'm not talking about, sabi ko nga eh, being gullible or being naive or mediocre. Yung simple-minded. I'm not to- We're talking about the innocence and, and purity of children. One time, there's similar story. St. Augustine, naglalakad siya sa tabing dagat. May nakita siyang bata na naglalaro. This is a true story. Yung bata humukay ng lupa, ng sun, inuhukay niya. Tapos meron siyang maliit na parang kettle na sinasali niya yung tubig doon. Sabi ni St. Augustine, ano ginagawa mo? Sabi ng bata, ah, sabi niya gusto kong isalin yung tubig sa dagat dito sa ginagawa kong hukay. Would you believe? The child can believe the impossible na yung dagat, kaya niyang ubusin yung tubig sa ginagawa niyang hukay. Doon nagkaroon ng revelation si St. Augustine sa sinabi ni Jesus that unless you become a little child, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. Ibig sabihin nito, kapatid, may mga bagay na taliwas sa, aking, sa ating lohika o mas mataas sa ating lohika, pero ang mga kristyanong pinakamasaya, yung pinapaniwalaan yung mga imposible na nakasaad sa salita ng Diyos. We're not called to do the impossible. We are called to believe the impossible. That's why we are called believers. Hindi born again. Hindi Christian. Believers of Christ. May uso niya yung Christian, ang pong Muslim. Then, may nunang Christian, may raw and Christian. Yung house karela, believers of Christ. How many believe that this year is not yet over? God is about to surprise you before the end of the year. Leap up your hands, I want to pray for you. Come on, leap up your hands as high as you can. Oh, reach out in faith. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you are a God that loves to surprise and flex your faithfulness and goodness to all your people. I speak, Lord, surprising blessing to all these believers of Christ before the end of this year. I decree it, Lord through your blood at the finished work of Christ at the cross. 
as we employ the name that is above every name, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. In Jesus' name we pray. You receive and believe. You say amen at palakpakan mo ang Panginoon. Woo. Next. We're closing. We're closing. To so those who love to share on the internet, listen to this. It's not just sharing in the internet. How many believe that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care? I was rebuked by this. Oh nga naman, Lord. People will get interested pag nakita nilang may pagmamahal ka. Kaya nga, ang ganda na, kaya hindi pwedeng i-substitute yung pagpapelloship sa pag aten ng online kung nandito ka sa Pilipinas. Pero lang kung nasa ibang bansa ka, nasa Metro Manila ka, pwede rin, luluwas ka dito. Marami tayong nakikinig sa Metro Manila ngayon. Kasi, how can you possibly do that online? Kaya nga, ginagawa natin pag tayo, sabihin mo, Merry Christmas. That is our simple way of showing, andito ako, nagpapatuloy, oh, kahit mahirap. Nagiging encouragement ako, hindi niya alam na nagpapatuloy. Oh, hindi lang pala ako nag-iisa, dami namin. Yan ang gusto ng Diablo, eh. pakita sa'yo, nag-iisa ka, pero kasinungalingan. Just like Elijah, Lord, I stood, sabi niya, against, against uh, this uh, the, the evil Jezebel, sabi niya. No, 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 no. He said, I reserved 7,000 prophets. Akala niya, nag-iisa siya. The devil loves to pull you out and, and believe that nag-iisa ka. Hindi ka nag-iisa. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka nag-iisa. Kasama mo si Kristo yung mga kapatid. Kaya don't fail to congregate. Yung tinitira ng Diablo, yung tamad mag-aten at magdili-dili. Walang lone ranger sa kaharian ng Diyos. That's why we belong to one another, Paul says. We belong to one another. Romans chapter 12 is talking about those gifts of the Spirit. Next. Hindi pwedeng online lang. Kung matagal ka na nag-online dyan, dyan ka lang sa Pampanga. Labas na. Jesus ko, dadating na ang Panginoon. COVID pa ba yung dahilan mo? The message of the gospel is not that the world is going to be made better, but we are saved out of it. Say amen. I love Martin Lloyd-Jones. He, 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 he died 1990 yata. Okay, next. Gospel preacher po yan. Next. How many, and I'm closing with this, how many remember the song, Oh, holy night. Ito yung gusto kong, Till he appeared and the soul Grabe, ano? Alam mo, pag naririnig ko yung song na yun, naiiyak ako. One time, one time, yung, yung, my sister wife, nagtatrabaho siya sa uh, Nexus. Sa Canada. Yung mga kasama niya, mga foreigner, non-Christians, mga Hinduism, Buddhism, lahat ng ism. Is, magpapasko, nagpatugtog siya ng Christmas song. May nag-approach sa kanya, mga practicing Hinduism. Yung mga, pag nagsasali, oh, mekus, mekus, yan, yeah, mga ganyan. Yeah. And, sabi niya, I, I don't know why you're playing this, but we're not Christians, he said, but every time we hear Christmas song, we feel it inside of us. Ela Cristiano ring. Ela Cristiano. Pero po ta kanun tandaman din Christmas song, era balo may papaldan la ting something kay pusura. Hindi ba ita mo? Eh may tinyan po tang paratang ni tang December 25, tang eh, mix emotion, masaya, malungkot, masaya, malungkot, eh balo, right ang memories mo. Tama kaya mo. Here's the explanation. Till he appeared and the soul. This Christmas, this Christmas, kabang gigilian may tang kalame na tutukian ng kain pustisu. 
Kabang pupunta ka karetang Christmas lights at sinawa na kang mama ang kem passport may gisan no rem bonus mo kung kakapunta Jollibee huling manag lang manag kat kay ba yung menal be karetang paputok. Alway tang paputok keni ne retang paputok. Ang posulo. Kabang kabang gigilian may tang litsyon. Ne? Huling carnivorous ka pero may carnivorous ka pupunta ka pupunta kay CR. Eh mo kakalingon. Eh, may kalingwan ni Nate. Till he appeared and the soul felt his worth. This is Christmas, people. Eko, pay po rahit. Bless ta mo, balo tayo ni. Let me reiterate this. The greatest blessing is not a gift that is placed under the tree. Share to your loved ones that the best gift is a gift that was hung on the tree. <laughs> Can we all stand? Can we all stand? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Thank you, Lord, for Christmas. We don't care if it is December 25 or September 21. Who cares what is important, Lord? Minsan isang araw binisita mo. Ang mundong ito para paalam that we love, we are valued, we are cared. Till He appeared, Lord, and the soul felt His worth. May we never forget this is the heart of Christmas, Lord. With or without bonus, with or without gift, with or without any glamorous celebration, With or without all this hustle and bustle of celebration, may we not forget till He appeared and the soul felt His worth. Today we rejoice in knowing, Lord, this truth. As we face itong napakaikling transition from 2023 to 2024 at dumadalustos na araw, Ilang tulog na lang Pasko na. Nawa, Panginoon, maalala namin ang bawat mensahe na narinig namin ngayon. Ito po ang aming samod dalangin sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoong Yesus. At ang lahat ay magsabi ng Amen and Amen. Ment lamang po before po tayo dumako sa ating love offering. Sa December 17, 2023 na po gaganapin ang ating church anniversary. And ang releasing po ng mga shirts natin, sa mga nakapag-order na po ng t-shirt, ang releasing po natin is 